All right, you guys tell me, did I get bamboozled by Tesla or do we need to explain the expectations? I just did a battery test on this Model 3. So what happens is it runs for about 13 hours overnight, takes your battery down and then all the way back up. It tells you how much range you lost. But did you know this? The first year that you own your Tesla, you lose the most range and then it evens out. So how much range have I lost in 70,000 miles? 18%. Does that sound like a lot or a little to you? Well, the lowest Tesla that you can buy right now is well over 300 miles. This one is from 2021. It's about 100 miles less than what you can buy right now. And I've never had an issue with range in this Model 3 standard range. So did I get bamboozled? Well, think about this. Tesla said back about a year ago that the average amount of range loss in a 3 and a Y over 200,000 miles was 85%. Now I'm at 82%. A lot of the, a lot of things factor in. Supercharging, how you drive, extreme climates, all kinds of stuff. So I charge to 100% when I need it. I charge at superchargers when I need it. And I only lost 3% more than the average Model 3 or Y. And think about this, every battery you buy, everything, if you're watching this on an iPhone, you can look at your battery's capacity and it'll tell you that you lost battery over the time since you bought it. It's the same as a Tesla. The thing is that these Teslas still have a ton of range. So did I get bamboozled? Well, I'm right at essentially the average after four years in 70,000 miles. 100% would do it again, especially now, since the lowest range you can buy is well over 300, and this one was rated at 263. What do you think?